What's up internet, welcome back. I want to show you how I made this turn table. I think this could, could be helpful for portfolio presentation. I saw it on the internet and I made it myself. So I'm going to make a tutorial. First things first, you can make this uh, turn table in any program <coughs> that you want. Maya, Cinema 4D, etc. I'm going to make it 3ds Max because this is the software that I'm usually working. So we have a model, you can have a cylinder, a sphere, anything you want to have. First thing first, I want to select all my model and just group it with one name. Let's call it RIP. Okay. Um, second step is to let's position the pivot to the middle like not like this let's drag it i'm not going to go into render settings because i already have one video i'm going to make more in the future it's called the clock alarm clock video you can find it on my youtube videos okay next step is to add an animation i did i already rendered it so i'm not going to render it again so as you can see i have made 250 um, frames also you can lower the frames and you can remapping the time in after effects but anyway i did all this so i'm going to check this set key so as you can see we have a key over here we going to need more time so i'm going to right click on time configuration and let's set to 300 okay Let's press OK. You can see that we have 300 uh, right now. And we're going to press N for animation, Auto key. Then let's drag it to 250. OK. Now I'm going to rotate it 180 degree. So I'm going to be, no, 360 degrees, sorry. So I'm going to end in the same position as I started. And now if we can close this one because you already see that the keyframe is added. If we drag this one, we have our third table. Okay. Next step, in 3ds Max, if we, we go to Render setup. The thing that we need to add is mm, to change the single to range. So we're going to add from zero frame to 250. And the next one is just to uh, set the file where we want to save it. And uh, we need to uncheck frame buffer and just press render so we will have our render okay after we have all these files rendered like this we need to make wireframe let me show you this is alpha if you want to use it but here is our first our first wireframe it's the same thing i mean you just we just need to add wire to our object so <clears throat> how we can do that first thing let's open this one because because of the turbo smooth i have too many wires so i'm going to turbo smooth and just check isolate display like this perfect next step let's press m to go to material 
Then let's select one V-Ray slot. Go into Diffuse. Let's go to V-Ray. And let's select our V-Ray Edge. Where is our V-Ray Edge text? Over here. So you can choose the color of the wireframe if you want to black. Doesn't matter. We can go back and choose another color for our material. Doesn't matter also. The next step is to go to render setup. Go to V-Ray. Global switch. And uh, let's check over our material and we just need to drag it in this slot. Press instant. So any render that you apply now, uh, any texture that you have on the ship or on your uh, object won't display because you'll overwrite it with this one. But before we render, um, I forgot to, we can delete or hide our hair because we do not need it in this case. If you have another project that doesn't involve hair, you do not need it to hide it or delete it. Like I'm doing now. Okay, now if we press render, you can see our wireframe. You can change also the pixel. So if we go to our edge text, we can lower. So we do not have the, the those strong that strong. Okay, and the same render. We already have our animation. We're going to keep the range. Uncheck the frame buffer and just wait for render. Okay, next step, we're going to go to After Effects and we have two choices, right click, import files or double left click, like this. I'm already in my folder render, so let's import our ship um, text rate. I'm going just to press one and press open. As you can see, we have more uh, image in here that's supposed to mean that all the image are important in one single folder so let's drag it to our new composition and if we drag this one you can see that we have our ship let's press this part okay all good until now Let's add our wire. So double click, back to wire, drag it down. I rendered alpha because I was thinking to change the background, but I let it like is this one. So you can change it if you need one, another one. You can add alpha. Okay, where is the, okay, open. And we have our wire. Let's make a test. Everything is looking good. As you can see, at any frame I am, the wireframe is in the same position. Okay, next step. We need to go to ship. Select it. And then let's drag it uh, rectangle to let's set it on top. This is a mask. So as you can see, because the mask is with add, uh, the ship disappear and it's showing all in the wire. So let's go to add subset. Okay, perfect. So we need to go and select all these corners. Let's drag it. 
by pressing shift and drag it on top like this let's go to the beginning and just go to transform let's select no let's go to sorry about that let's go to mask and select mask path as you can see we have a keyframe let's go to the end and drag this rectangle to up by pressing shift you can go down like this as you can see at the end we have another keyframe add so if we look if we drag this one you can see our wireframe let's press base for so the magic happened but i think it's too short right now the passing from the hair to this one so let's go to feathers and let's add some blur as much as you think that it's looking good so that's all you can add more settings if you want uh, I do recommend you if you want to take a closer to render it to higher resolution but that's all you just need to render so let's go to composition to render Kiwi and select H this is MP4 now audio and just output to that's it thank you for watching I hope you understand it I hope this you find it helpful see you next time